going on my friends it's the beard here today gold rush the game we're back we're back with oh my goodness so i had done a whole bunch of work and my save game file corrupted uh, it's just another trial and tribulation of what we call gold rush the game as addictive as this game is it still has its faults and it has its issues so it is what it is we take it with a grain of salt and we move on now, before we move on, I would uh, like to thank all the support we've had for these videos uh, on this series, on the channel period lately. Uh, my regular subscribers, you guys are fantastic. There's uh, new subscribers coming in all the time. I want to welcome the new subscribers to the channel. And if you haven't by now, guys, join that Discord. Come on in, join the conversation. Uh, it's recently started, so get in at ground one and uh, grow with us. Come say hi. There's always something going on. We've got a good crew in there right now, and it's been a whole lot of fun. Aside from that, guys, live streams are Tuesdays and Thursdays night. Tuesdays and Thursday evenings <laughs> at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come and join us. Jump on in. Say hi. We have a great old time. We do all sorts of things. But we'll explain that a little bit later if you join us. Now, let's get down to this. Okay. So my plan here, guys. Now, I had this whole thing. Like, you should have seen the amount of work we had done. So we're just going to rinse and repeat and get her done again. So what I started doing was, with the excavator, uh, digging out and making spoil piles. I didn't like loading and doing everything. Digging with the front end loader, that, that was the hard part for me, is actually going in and doing the digging. You don't want to do that. So it seems the best course of action, and it seems to really be working well, is to use the excavator, dig it up, make a spoil pile. Make sure you've got a good root in by you know dozing it down. That way this thing doesn't get stuck and off to the races so what we're going to do first we're going to plan it out a little bit here we're going to have this as our entry coming down and in as it is right now we'll continue to dig up here and then we're going to make a path for the excavator to run along so we'll have this opened up in a big kind of u shape eventually all the way to the back wall with the overburden removed with the bulldozer which we'll get to in just a moment and the excavator will dig out all the good stuff now the good stuff if you look at the difference in the dirt Okay, this is overburden. You're not going to get much gold out of that. You're going to waste a lot of time running that material. This here is the stuff you want, this nice brown color. You can actually even look at it and see the little specks of gold in it. That's your pay dirt. Okay, I see a lot of people running the overburden. There's no point. That's what the bulldozer is for. It's to peel that overburden off. So we're going to go ahead and jump in it. We're going to start peeling some off. We'll open the cut up. We don't open too much. Uh... I mean, we could. You could do the whole thing, really, and it, it shouldn't make too much difference. Okay. Doing it to it. Let's get through it. Um, die. Die. Okay, so. Ripper. Ripper. Ripper up. Ripper up. We don't want the ripper down. The ripper does actually help an awful lot, uh, but it's not what we're all about here. So, my e brake is. That guy. There's the e-brake. Now, I actually find I normally like to use the cockpit view for everything that I do, but a little harder with the dozer just in trying to get your positioning right. Oh, man, and you get stuck easy, too, with silliness happening. Come on, get over that. There we go. There we go. Let's, let's not get stuck again. So we're going to hop up on top of our spoil here. Well, it's soon to be spoil. We're going to start peeling it back. Now, I want to peel back in front of the excavator and dig that out and be able to load it to where the front end loader can reach it. That's what's going to be key to our operations. So, let's go ahead. We'll start right around here, like so. Now, the, the trick is with this bulldozer, you don't want to take too much dirt. You can see right now, right there, we're, we're level with it. So, if we go down just a little bit, Okay, that's, oh, that's actually all the way. We're going to go right about there. We're going to give it a push. There we go. There we go. And you may have to adjust when you go, because if you get too much in front of you, you'll hit like a brick wall, literally. Okay, we'll push that out. Don't fall down the hole. Straight reverse back. That way you don't have any issues. Your first couple are going to be a little bit more difficult than anything else, really. Uh, we'll line up. And we'll blade down and we'll try and push about half because it is, uh, there you go, just
just like so. You never want to try and do a full push. Uh, it just doesn't work, even in real life. You always go half over what you've worked. And that way, by going half over what you've worked, uh, it's a little bit easier. And then you can clear up those little bits that are left behind, the little bits of spoil. It's like a little windrow of spoil, you would call it. Okay, here we go. Push, push, push. So a little bit of rinse and repeat. And just do this for a little while. You want to get down to the good stuff. So, you know, don't try and do the whole claim at once. You're going to have to do it in sections. Oh, that was a great push. We got right through there. We're going to hit a brick wall here pretty soon, though. Uh, ooh, <laughs> no brick wall. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah, nice push, nice push. You don't really get like this. Holy. And there we go. So straight back. Now, that was pretty fantastic. We don't really need to go that far. Uh, just simply for the fact that we're, we'll probably end up changing our line by the time we get back there. We'll probably angle a little more straight in that direction. Oh. Well, over here, we might as well give her a little bush. Keeping her nice and level is key. But you can see we're still on the overburden. We're not getting any of the good stuff out yet. So we'll go ahead and push this all back right here. Don't really need to go that far. Kind of getting carried away, but uh, she's working real nice here today. When I was first pushing her, uh, first trying to clear all this overburden, I was having a few issues getting hung up. I feel you get hung up a little more than a, a real dozer would, but, you know, again, it's... It's a game and early access. You can't expect perfection on the first round. All right, let's see if we can push across here a little bit. There we go. And then look, I hit a brick wall right there. Okay, so we're going to try and push this bit right here now. As you can see, because we're keeping level, I'm just keeping my blade down. But again, don't take the whole thing or you'll get stuck, especially when you go through a big pile. There we go, and back. Rinse and repeat. Now we're gonna have to drop this again because we wanna get down to that good stuff, down to that brown soil. But we'll just keep this going for this area. We'll do like a little cube here. Let's see, I might go, oh, see, there's the good stuff right there. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll head back here and we'll try and push a little more into this bank. Move this back just a little further. We can always clear a little more later, but we just want to open up enough that we can uh, start getting that pay dirt. There's a string of it right there. Okay. That's good enough for now. A little more, just a little further back, because you got a picture of the excavator where it's sitting. You know, you kind of lose that area to dig unless, you know, you're moving around. So, like, I want to dig in a straight line, and just for the sake of efficiency more than anything. And continuing to bring that, uh, the spoil pile, which is going to be right down the center, as we talked about there before. It's pretty much... Looking at the excavator right now, just to the left of the excavator. And that's going to come all the way to this back bank, to the, the back face of the wall there. Let's see, we'll push a little more here. Okay, good, 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 excellent, really nice. Okay, to about there. Very nice. Well, it's going better than the first time. Uh, I was having a few glitches happen to me the first time out the gates, and uh, this is working rather nice right now. Make sure you don't take on too much dirt, or you're not going to make it the whole way. There we go. That's about where we want to be. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, well, we're just going to push a little more here. Maybe try and okay. Huh. 
That um, is a little unrealistic how it pushes up the pile like that, but we can deal with it. We can deal with it. I just got to get back here. I'm going to take some of these little windrows out of the equation since they are starting to kind of mess us up. Catch them both. Almost. Okay, we'll pull off on the left side here. The excavator will get hung up on those as well, so it's nice to clear them all the way. We need to go down another lift. So I'm going to go ahead, as you guys can see here, I'm going to keep working this. I'm going to speed up time because I'm magical like that. All right, that's right. I'd wave a little wand if I had one and call it magic, but uh, I don't have one. So I'll just wave the big old stick on the bucket there and I'll speed her up. I'll be right back. Okay, well, as you can see here, unfortunately, uh, I, I can't see, <laughs> so I think I got hung up on the back end of a spoil pile there. But we got most of the overburden cleared away, and we're pretty much ready to dig. So I'm going to go ahead and run over to the old sugar shack over here. Let me just uh, boogie on down this way right there. And I'm going to sleep and make it morning. Look at the starry sky. It's gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Let me climb into here. Let's push it to dawn. Pushed it to dawn. Let's get it on. Okay, back to work. So what we want to do now is now that we've cleared a good portion of that overburden, we're going to make a great big spoil pile for our front end loader to come in. And, and I mean, it's a process. You know, you know, you don't, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to get every, through everything, like, super, super quick. So, I mean, hey, an multiplayer would have been nice, but obviously uh, wasn't something that the developers were thinking about. And so we just have to deal with it.
Okay, so down here is going to be where our spoil goes. So we're going to actually dig out from this way over. And we'll move our spoil sort of into the middle here. Let's see if we got rid of enough overburden. Because if we did, the gold will come a lot faster. And that's the theory, and that's why they do that if you watch a show like The Gold Rush or if you ever get a chance to go and check out an actual gold mine. Uh, that's the theory behind the madness. You know, you don't want to just dig all dirt and run all dirt because it gets pricey. It gets very expensive. I mean, the, these this equipment, like this 400 I'm sitting on right now, it's going to burn a lot of fuel in a day. To fill this thing up, it's, it's going to take a good 400 liters. Maybe even a little bit more. I don't personally own a 400, but I know my, my Komatsu, I have a PC-138. Okay, now that, that machine there, I burn about... Sixty dollars in fuel a day. Okay, so at one thirty-eight. Well, I mean, do the math. It's, it's you know probably about two point three times, two point four times smaller than this four hundred I'm sitting on right now. So if you start adding that up, I mean, jeez, like that's that's a lot of fuel you're gonna burn in a day. So you've got to be efficient. You can't just you know everything everything is a cost. It's got to be recouped, and it's no different in this game. You guys know how hard it is. If you've been Watch this video, check these videos. Chances are you've been playing the game. You know how hard it is to make the money to do what you want to do. In fact, most of you, if you're probably sitting around the same same stage as me, come on, baby, you can do your thing. Um, you're probably uh, with a tier three. You know, you've gone, you've taken a loan, unless you've done. Like, there is a few glitches, you know. And I don't like glitches. I guess initially there was one. You could type cash or something in the in the line where you. Uh, if you go into your, you know, your menu and you see where you can reset your guys, apparently you could have typed cash in there or something to give you 50 grand. I don't know if that was by design for the developers, uh, but I knew some people that had used it and that were trying it. Now there's a new glitch, and I can't believe that people are actually making videos doing this. Like we don't want to promote the glitches, especially a glitch where it makes a lot of the game uh, pointless. Then why are you playing the game? <laughs> I'm not going to name any names, but there's a channel, and, and he's been touting on about, and, and actually, it's a great channel. I, you know, it's I, I watch him, and that's he's a young channel, um, but that's why I, I know about it. Um, apparently, if you take, okay, so what he does is he lines up ten buckets of dirt, just buckets, and he loads dirt into them, and then he throws it in the magnetite trailer, okay, and that that gets you about ten grand plus. I mean, there's just there's no. No rhyme or reason to that, and I'm hoping that it gets patched real soon because it just takes away from the game. Why do you want to ruin it for yourself like that? I mean, you know, you've still got to, well, whatever. I'm not going to judge, and I'm certainly not judging. However, uh, it's not for me. Just not for me. I like to do it as if we're working a real claim. What's going on there? I'm hitting the spoil pile. Mr. No Death Perception. Here, let's get rid of this chunk right here so I can see what we're doing. Make sure we... Yeah, we got a full bucket. Okay. So we'll work our spoil pile. We'll give them a nice big one here. And the idea is we can take the excavator and we can work all the way around. Come on, out you go. We can work all the way around, clear everything out down to bedrock, make a nice big spoil pile, and then it's just a matter of flying through it with the front end loader. Because the front end loader is pretty quick. I just can't handle digging with it. You know, you're not supposed to be able to dig with those things. <laughs> you're just not. Um, and, oops, and they don't have the jam to dig, you know. Because they've got a, the way they lift is they push their bucket in. Uh, but they have to push, and they're pushing with tires. And tires don't get the traction that tracks do, for one. And so you're just not going to get that kind of bite. In material that hasn't been worked. You know, this is worked material. The spoil we're standing up right now. Okay, we need to clear off some of this here. I don't have much. There we go. I feel like the excavator is giving me all she's got. So we got a nice little spoil pile going already. And even put the time and the effort in, you know. I mean, it's it's the steps. It's a process. But the end result, you know, you're going to... If the gold is in the ground, you're going to do well. All right.
right. Unless you wreck your chrome, which is what I'd be doing there in real life, hitting up against it like that. Okay, let's get everything from a reach here. Because then what we want to do is we want to move positions and do it from the other side. So we want to fill up mostly on this side. Not too much over here. We want to fill up over here. So in fact, I should clear away some of this. Now I think that's remainder of a spoil. Uh, but let's get all this up here. Nice. Well, guys, while we're digging here, um, I'd like to say if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos and so we can hang out in the future. And make sure you come back for those live streams. We have an awful good time, man. I, I love it. I look forward to it. It's only twice a week. Sometimes... We do a little impromptu stream, you know, we decide, hey, let's do one today, and we go ahead and do it, just because we have such a good time. It doesn't make any sense not to. You know, and some days, I, you know, I'd like to go and i like to make a video, and and then I say to myself, well, why, why am I doing a video? Well, I can do a live stream, because it's so much more fun. But, uh, you know, you got to get the videos out on the channel, because not everybody can make your live stream. And live streams don't, they don't seem to do as well as videos on, uh, you know, for the longevity. They do great when you first put them up and you have a good time, and there's definitely advantage in a place for it. However, you know, if, if you're looking to uh, to put your content out there and have it seen a little more often, well, you need to have it on a video, it seems. I don't know why YouTube separates it the way they do, uh, but they just do. As of right now, we are still streaming on YouTube. We're not doing the Twitch game yet. We probably will be here soon i know i keep threatening to pull that plug i feel it for some reason and i don't know why i'm like this i feel a bit of a loyalty to youtube i think it's because i started with youtube and i i'd rather you know you, you kind of not so much that you stick to what you know because i like to learn new things oh oh i lost a little bit of dirt there we go i do like to learn new things however i don't know i don't know i think it's a loyalty thing I'm a very little dog, rough. Okay, so this side looks pretty good. We've got it back to a line here now. We're going to go ahead and, let's see, let's make sure we clean this up before I do that. Because I can see there's still some over here. I want to get cleaned up as much as possible because we will have spoil eventually sitting all in here. Eventually, this will be our track. This is where the uh, front end loader will run through. That was a really terrible scoop. We'll pretend that one didn't happen. It's sometimes hard with this game to get the controls to do what you want them to do. I can't push piles. Normally I would push a pile with an excavator um, as I'm digging just to, just to move it along. Like I would go like this and then I'd push through it and I'd push the dirt forward. And that would move the pile forward and knock the top down. It just makes it easier to load. But those physics are not with me. All right. Yes. <laughs> diggy, diggy, diggy. Diggy, diggy, diggy. We was digging. We moved dirt. Sunday morning here, having my coffee. Thought about doing a live stream, to be honest, just because there's so much fun. But jumped onto my Discord and saw the majority of uh, the crew who like to be there for all the live streams. Streams? Or screams. Whichever. Uh, they're all either sleeping or they've gone out or whatever the case may be. So, and I am in the Pacific Standard Time Zone. I know I'm a little, I'm behind most of y'all. So, you like that, y'all? Oh, I didn't get a scoop there. That just gave me the graphic. See the machines. Uh, is it getting dirtier? Is it just me? Kind of feels like it is. Okay, we need to dig a little towards us. Now we'll back up and we'll take this pad that I'm sitting on. To about here. And in fact, you know what? Let's just go ahead. And we'll twist our tracks. 
that's the other thing. You'd almost never do what I'm doing right now in a real excavator. Uh, you would, uh, in fact, you would put your bucket down and you'd lift your tracks. Let's see. How are we there? Are we right on the edge? That looks pretty good. Now what we can do is dig into the spoil pile accidentally. Because, you know, Mr. No Depth Perception. Beard's got no depth perception. There we go. We'll add it to the spoil pile, kind of in the middle. Now, obviously, the less movement you need to make, the faster things are going to happen for you. So, let's make sure to hit this and not the spoil pile. There we go. That's looking like some good pay dirt in front of us there. I can't wait to run this stuff. But today's episode is all about getting it prepped. And we might start to run some of it, but we're certainly not going to run all of it together because that's going to take some time. And we're already 36 minutes into the video. So what we'll do, though, is we'll get this all dug out and maybe you'll have a little bit better of a, a picture on what a real operator would do. Not saying any of y'all aren't, but it's what I do for a living. And it's how you would attack something like this and how you want to clear it. Uh, you know, because how you go about this is going to make your life a whole lot easier or a whole lot of frustration. It really, really will. Okay, we'll get a little bit from over here. We'll try and straighten up our cut a wee bit. I'm looking forward to running this and seeing how much we get, so... I'll probably end this episode here uh, shortly, and then in the next episode, which I'll probably fill them back to back here, fill them, listen to me, I'm so 90s, uh, and uh, or 80s even, for that matter, and I'll probably fill them that one up, or record that one, I should say, because I said it again, um, and the idea being is that uh, then we can see how much our clean out, like what, what are we going to get, you know, I want to see our clean up and see, is it going to be... Is it going to be worth it? Is this the way to do it? Or do I just say, screw it, grab 10 buckets and pour a bunch of dirt into it and go to the Magnite Terry <laughs> trailer? I'm not going to do that. That's not my style. Got a real nice spoil pile here, though. That's going to take a little while to run. And the other thing, we don't have a clean-out bucket. What's with that, man? No clean-out bucket. I mean, if I wanted to load the uh, the spoil manually with the excavator, I would need a cleanup bucket. Although I have seen them on the show use a digging bucket. It drives me absolutely nuts. You know, your dirt's loose. Grab that cleanup bucket that's like two to three times the size of your digging bucket. It'll work out great. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, and now when we run the front end loader, we may, we may have to give ourselves a little bit of push with the with the uh, the bulldozer to make sure that we've got a nice open route to get down into the dirt because we don't want to be getting stuck the idea is to speed things up by taking this course of action like we're doing and yeah we're flying that filled rather quickly <laughs> Awesome. So let me know, guys. Let me know what you're thinking of this game so far. Obviously, you know, we're all contending with, with the glitches and the little bugs. There's nothing we can do about that. But have you been able to look past it? Are you still playing it? Have you figured out the best way to mine? Where are you set up? You know, I was thinking of uh, getting the next cut open here soon, but we're going to have to dig this one out a fair bit first, make some good money with it, and then we can consider, consider going over. And checking out the next cut and getting her all opened up. But I'd like to be able to buy more equipment and leave here what we have here. That way we can hire some workers. They can continue to make us money. I'm interested to see how the workers are going to do with all this tier 3 stuff. Uh, you know, are they going to be a little bit more proficient? 
I know that the last update, so the update that came on Friday, <laughs> yeah, they were busy. Busy little bees are developers. Uh, they have fixed a few things. And one of those, foremost amongst them, it was the, uh, the, the, the amount that the workers generate. Oh, yeah, they're making you more money, man. They got way more proficient. Way more proficient. Okay, our spoil pal's looking pretty awesome here. I'm going to try and trim this back so I can kind of get a better look down there. Let's see what's happening. Because you can see we've got a bench. We've got a shelf happening. So we're going to want to dig that shelf out. But first, let's just get this back to the tracks. This makes life easier when you can see what you're doing. You know, digging by Braille may not be the worst thing to do. But it's certainly not the best thing. Okay. You want to be able to see. I, you know, the other thing I would do in, in IRL is I would cut a bench and I would drop my excavator down to that bench. But this thing, man, in this game, it doesn't climb. And you get stuck so easy, and excavators are really hard to get stuck, if you know what you're doing. So, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, let's go with full reach here. Oh, that filled quickly. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Let's get back into that same point of dig. There we go. So you notice I'm trying to keep my rotations down. The less movement I do, the quicker it goes. And you know, when you see how much we've dug out here, it's, it's pretty quick. I'm quite pleased with it, actually. I'm pleased with how much we've gotten done here uh, in the last... Well, I, you know what? I'm looking at my clock here. It says 42 minutes, but... Uh, I don't really know exactly where we stand because I'm going to fast forward all that bulldozer crap. By the time you watch it, it's all done. And so, yeah, we're just going to keep going. Because <laughs> I'm going to be playing anyway, so might as well keep her, keep her recording so we can track the progress. And uh, let me know how you're doing it, guys. I'm really interested to see, especially my regulars. I haven't heard a whole lot about the game from them lately. A bunch of us have been playing spin tires with anticipation of Mud Runner coming up here real soon. Um, and then, of course, one of our, uh, one of our, I, sh I should say, devout followers that we have. His name is Ultra. You guys may have seen him on some of the videos in chat if you've come to the live stream and whatnot. Um, he's been on a, a kick for spin tires and trying to get us all to play spin tires. And it was actually, it was quite humorous, but he was so persistent. And we've pretty much all given in. We've all, uh, you know, the, most of the community on Discord there have been like, okay, we're down, let's do it. And, and I've seen a lot of spin tires happen lately. I can't wait for Mud Runner to come out. Mud Runner is what I'm really excited for. Uh, so it's kind of neat to, you know, jump into spin tires and, you know, keep your keep your feet wet, so to speak. So, you, you know, you don't freeze when you jump back in that pool. Okay, so we're looking really good over here. We're, we should be down to about bedrock now. Uh, just kind of hard to see from this view. Let's take a little bit more off the bank from under my track here. Don't want to undermine too much. Look at the size of our spoil pile. Now, I don't know if that spoil pile is going to fall down by itself. This is an experiment for me within the game. We may want to uh, make spoil pile more, more windrowy. A little lower, but I think what we'll do is I'll probably go over with the uh, bulldozer and cut a ramp into it, up into it, and start at the top. And then I should be able with the front end loader to keep that ramp moving down as I load everything out. That's the hopes. Very nice. Okay, we're going to... Start moving some dirt around over here. I don't want to be coming into this corner too much, cleaning out material with the front end loader. I want to keep him mostly in the middle. Jeez, I'm going to have a whole episode of me doing nothing but driving with that front end loader. I should maybe do some of that off screen. Um, you know, that's, that's what you guys want to see. 
front end loader is not my forte in this game because you can't get the controls right. Which is bothersome. It's just a wee bit bothersome. Okay, we are about ready to move along here. Now, if anybody were to need to go into this hole, this hole would have to be benched. You can't leave big banks like this. Um, you almost never do unless your geotech says, okay, you're good. So we don't do it too often. Not like this. Let's see. Are we getting full bucket still? Yeah, yeah, we're getting into her. Okay. So let's see here now. We're going to move the machine further forward. See, you shouldn't be getting hung up on spoil like this. That's bothersome. See, we can just twist and get out of this without falling over the side. Okay, what's going on here? What are we hung up on? Like, are you kidding me? This little bit of dirt would never, ever hold up an excavator. I'm sorry. It just wouldn't happen. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more digging. Uh, you guys don't need to be here for all of this. Um, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and fast forward it. So that way, if I can get off this... Okay, now go forward. Let's go. Get off that. Oh my goodness. Go. 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 Okay, well that's actually going to do just about, let's call that there. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and dig a little bit and I will be right back. Okay, the cut's looking pretty good. I think we're at a pretty good point here now. 
we've gone ahead and we've leveled everything out. We've taken down all our, our overburden with the, the, the bulldozer, as we saw earlier. And now we've created ourselves a nice big spoil pile. We set ourselves up for success. That's right. Gold miners extraordinaire. <laughs> the bearded mining corp. So the next step, guys, is then going to be uh, get the wash plant up and going, get all our water power running, and start running material. Seeing what sort of a clean out we get from, uh, so real time, it's been about an hour for me. I have dug for an hour. I, I did the, not just dug, uh, we did the overburden and I've dug. It's been an hour since I started this recording, let's say it like that. We'll just put the bucket down here. Put the machine in neutral, so to speak. That's the neutral position. And uh, let's head on over. Maybe get a better look at things here. Let's see what we can see. Oh, she's looking pretty good. All right. So next episode, we will be moving this monster pile. I hope you will come and join us and see whereabouts we end up to. Yeah, look at that. We've got the... It's all laid out very professionally. This is how we would do it in, in the real life scenario. Uh, you'd cut your overburden. You wouldn't open too much of a cut all at once because your material gets ruined. You see how we've got it in kind of like a horseshoe shape. And that's how we're going to work this whole plot. We're going to work it from one side to the other with the horseshoe, digging the dirt out, leaving it in the middle for the front end loader right here. And he can pull it out and do his thing. So let's make sure. I'm going to take a peek. Oh, I got my wiffles all back in. My grades are down. Everything looks good. And I'm going to go and sort uh, water and power out, get this all sorts ready for the next episode. And until then, guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I am The Beard with Kaplan Entertainment. This has been Gold Rush, the game. And you guys are fantastic. The reason we're doing this. So if you haven't by now, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, i got to get some fuel. i got to get this sorted. <laughs> I'm going to get this sorted. And we will catch you guys next time. All right.